Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a specific pattern of data transformation in Power BI using Power Query that you can convert a flat list like this without any set key, without any key for the list of fields to be transformed to a table like this using Power Query. Let's see how it works. Uh, there are a few things that I like to mention before showing you how this works. Uh, this sample data set that you see right now, um, this sample data set, uh, you can have exactly like this uh, data, but this is very rare that you might have an exact uh, structure like that. The purpose of this uh, video is to show you how is the pattern and how you can solve if you see something similar to this, not exactly like this. So try to understand the pattern for this solution, not exact steps. Um, okay, now, now going to the solution. So here I have the data like this, and I want to convert it to a format like what you have seen over there. Now, uh, I'll start doing this step by step again so you can see how the process is. I'll start with getting data from that, um, from that source. Um, I'll just start from scratch again from text or CSV file. Let me close that file. I don't need that anymore. Um, uh, this is a sample CSV file, so when I get it, it comes into two columns uh, because it is separated by a delimiter. Then I go ahead and remove the top one row because that's not really a good column header. I don't need that. And I remove empty uh, values. So this is, let's say, a cleaner data set now to work with. But then uh, I need to change these, like every few records of these, to become every few records of these to become a record. These are actually my column headers, what you see in column one. These should be my column headers. But the problem is that I don't really have a set key. Here I should have a set key saying this is number one, number two, number three, or whatever unique number you have, right? Then you can pivot it. Because right now, if I try to pivot this column, uh, uh, I've uh, I've previously published a video about what pivot and pivot is. You can check that one. But if I try to pivot it, um, value is column two, let's say. If I use normal pivoting, this would give me aggregation. If I say, instead of normal pivoting, I would do it without any aggregation, then I get an error that I have multiple values per the uh, key uh, value pair. So pivot just like this won't work. For getting the pivot working, you need a set key. Uh, which is a unique uh, value for each set here that you can use. Now you might say that you can use ID. Yep, that's correct. Uh, but probably you need to write some transformation or you need a little bit more steps in transformation to get that working. The method that I'm showing to you is a considering different approach. Let's say what I'll do is I'll first create these sets and I consider that each set start with properties here, right? You can also say each set includes like five fields, but let's say what if it is not five fields, it's six fields for one of them, seven fields for the other one. Uh, I assume every every set start with properties um, and I want to assign a unique uh, ID to that. So what I'll do is I'll first add a column, an index column, doesn't matter, index start from zero or one or whatever. Uh, this index is unique for every row, which is not what I want. I want a unique uh, value for every set, right? And every set here started with properties. So what I'll do is I'll add a conditional column and I say if column one equals properties, and Power Query is case sensitive, you should be careful about that as well. Then show me the index column as the output, otherwise nothing. So this will show me the index column as the output only for the properties row. Here is the result, right? You see this only returns results for when the value is property. So I have a set header key. Now I should fill that in all those other rows. So what I'll do is select this column and I choose a transformation called fill down, 
fill down, fill all of these null values with the first not null values at the um, top record. So this would be filled down. And here I have set key for each set of records, very simply. Uh, all I do is now the next step is I remove the index column. I don't really need that. I can call this column key column. The name is not really important. It's just for me to realize that this is a key column, right? Uh, and now I can do the pivot. So going back to this column one, I select that and I say pivot column. My value is column two and I say don't aggregate. Now you might wonder where is this key column used because we haven't used it here. Column one is the pivot key, column two is the value column and don't aggregate. That column is working behind the scene. It is providing a field for the other two combination to get this don't aggregate to work perfectly fine, right? So you need that column anyway. Um, I click on OK and here it is. The data is transformed in a way that I want. Now I don't need this key column anymore. I can right click on it and remove it. And this is the data transformed in a shape that I want. So what is the learning from this process is that first you need to specify a set key for each of these, which I did it using adding index first, then adding conditional expression that says separate the set headers, then filling down and filling all of those. Uh, there are other ways that you can create this set header as well and end up with pivoting it in a right way. You can download this file uh, with the sample data set from the link down below in the description uh, to my blog article. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put your questions down in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.